how y'all doing? I would just like to say that I attempted to record a reaction video three times and every time something happened the f excuse me the first go around um the audio was very strange very strange the second time around the audio was echoing badly on my microphone which has not happened since i fixed the problem before the third time everything looked like it was going great i tried it out and i was extremely optimistic even when i got interrupted by a phone call um i started right back over everything was cool and then i get to the playback at the end of my 12 minute reaction and the sound was echoing so although it was recording nicely the audio was was an extreme echo so it's a lesson it's a lesson first things first preparation is everything that's first um admittedly i did not prepare for this day i didn't prepare even though i know that my posting schedule is every saturday morning every saturday morning i try to put quality content that is thought provoking and or entertaining or or brings you to think about love in some sort of way um and for whatever reason today it just it just is not working <laughs> But that's the first lesson preparation is everything second lesson is no matter and this was the thing that i was actually reviewing was um maybe i could put it in here somewhere pastor td jiggs um he spoke a sermon entitled i have not seen the whole whole sermon i've only ever seen the snippet that i've been trying to review um but it's called living off a memory living off a memory um, which basically he was talking about remembering how to remember the snippet I was looking at was how to remember who you are, no matter what your circumstances are. And of course, you know, I speak about that all the time, being appreciative in every situation, learning to love yourself, loving God, loving other people. And it was so, it was such a good snippet of his sermon. He, he speaks extremely well, Bishop T.D. Jakes. I always say pastor, I, I apologize. I mean, no disrespect, um, but it was such a good sermon because it helps you. It, it kind of just reminds you it, and really the lesson is still there. It reminds you to stay the course, right? Um, a lot of times stuff happens to you in your life or us. I'm not going to say you happens to us in our lives. And it's like, yo, God, where you at? Or sometimes people don't even say, God, where you at? It's kind of like, well, this is what I expect, you know, because we sometimes don't think that we are worthy of God's love or his attention or think he even cares about the, the little details of our lives. But he does. Right. And and really, um, that piece of the sermon was was saying, like, remember who you are remember who you are no matter what is going on no matter how good things are no matter how how bad things are or what you perceive to be good or bad no matter you know how successful you are at this moment and compared to maybe as successful as you were before or vice versa uh, you know whatever the situation may be just remembering who you are remembering who whose you are is so important um, and he was speaking about, and it was, you know, not ironic, but it was just confirmation for me um, because this past weekend, I actually watched um, the portrayal of the book of Daniel um, and it was, it was cool. It was just, you know, like a Sabbath movie and I was just watching it and it was cool. Um, but he literally spoke to everything that they went through, Daniel and the three Hebrew boys, they literally were stripped from their, from their land names changed clothes changed um made to they were they were presented with food from a place that was foreign from you know foreign like a diet and everything literally everything in their circumstance changed 
but that did not change at the heart of them who they were. They were still Hebrew. They were still God's people. They were still followers of Christ. And no matter how you know, how much they changed their name, no matter how much they changed their clothes, no matter what they had, you know, how they had to speak or or the food that they were presented, they remained who they were at the heart of them because they remembered that the same God who had them in the land that they knew is the same God that still had them and is taking care of them in Egypt. Literally, no matter where you are, no matter what the circumstance is, God is concerned about every detail of your life. No matter what is going on in your life, remember who you are. Because no no amount of success, no amount of failure, no amount of um, you know trial or whatever can take away the fact that God, although he is sovereign, he is so big and so loving that he is able to literally feel everything that you feel. He physically, God physically sent his son to earth to be able to embody everything that we go through so that he can give us the example. If that is not proof that he really cares about the details of our lives, I don't know what is. And then the other thing that Bishop Jakes was talking about was that when you know, you know, you just know. And that for some people who don't understand what that means, it's when you have a relationship with any person um, and you feel that you know them, you've seen how, you know, how this person or how these people act towards you, you've seen them in action in some way in your life. Um, and so, you know, whatever situation may come up, you have a rapport with this person or these people. You understand what they are capable of in a situation. It's the same thing with God. And 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 really to, to further elaborate on that. So if your friend, you know your friend is super, super nice, super sweet. And then in a circumstance, they are really upset. They're yelling, they're screaming. You know that your friend at the heart of them is a beautiful person, you know, sweet, they're loving, they're kind and caring, but something has gone on. It doesn't mean that they're a different person. The circumstance may have changed, right? It's really the same thing with God. God allows us to have choice, right? No matter what we choose, he's always on the same mission. The mission is to seek and to save whoever is lost. That is why Christ came to earth. His whole mission, because that is his mission, we can always trust the fruit of who he is. We can always trust that because if you know, like you just, you've seen the work that he's done in the Bible, you've seen or read or heard at least, that he's fed the 5,000, he healed people, he cried when his friends passed away, he wept with his friends, he cares, right? So knowing that, remembering that that same God who gave up his only son, the same God that wants to save us, the same God, you know, all the good things, the same God that will punish us when we don't do right. He's the same God and not do not re, for, do not remember do not forget that he loves you and don't forget that you're his child and he's concerned and he has a plan. Don't forget who you are because he never forgets you. And it's so I think it's so man, it's such a personal thing. And I pray everybody gets man, we we all just grow our relationships with Christ. It's always a goal for me, but Grow your relationship with Christ because in order to um, get to know a person, you got to spend time with them. And this is kind of how I I explained it to one of my young people. If you don't know anything about God at all, like that's cool. No problem. If you don't know something about a person, but you want to know something about a person, what do you do? You dedicate time. You try to get to know him. You talk to him. It's the same thing with God. 
And that's how you get to the place where you know that you know that you know that God is on your side and that you know who you are because you'll know who he is. So in order to really grasp who you are and understand and and what you're supposed to be and all the all the potential that's locked in you, you have to know God. And I say that so boldly. You got to know at the heart of who God is. He wants you to be loved and successful and all the good things. He wants all the good things for you. There's a way that you get those things, right? Um, and don't just don't just to get the things. But the whole point is remembering who you are. But because you want to know who you are or in the event that you would like to know who you are or you just want to remind yourself, this is, this is what I have gleaned from this sermon, remind yourself. Take time, spend time in the word, spend time talking to God, spend time and not even anything, any, you know, eloquent prayers or anything like that. Just spend time getting to know the character of God. That way, when stuff gets hard, you already know that the God who sits high still has the ability to look low, feel exactly what you're feeling and ha ultimately has a plan for you to succeed because it is his will, as the word says, for you to prosper and be in good health. It is his will that you would be saved. It's his will that you be happy and loved and contented. That's what he wanted from the beginning, Garden of Eden. We made choices, right? Don't digress. But know who you are. Remember that God loves you. No matter what is going on, and this is the third lesson, for lesson number one, prepare. Second lesson, remember who you are. Third lesson, third and final lesson for the evening. No matter what deters you or tries to deter you, stay the course. Stay the course. It might get difficult. You might ask questions, and that's all well and good. Remember who you are. Remember whose you are. And it's all going to work out, I promise, because it's a fixed fight. Period. The devil is defeated. Amen. As I always say, remember to love God because he's a source of real love. Remember to love on yourself and appreciate all that God created you to be. Get to know him. And while you're getting that love and learning these lessons, remember to love on other people because that is the way your world will continue to go around. I love you so very much. Bye.